Welcome to Bulwark, a game about chaotic creativity. No conventional controls, one button to paint the landscape, another to move about. And while you paint towers and walls, people will start to make the world come alive. Keep building, that's the trick. This can be confusing at first, overwhelming even. But don't worry, there's also no mistakes. This is the campaign mode. Here you get a taste of the open world building sandbox. It has a basic tutorial, a resource system based only on distance rather than how much you can produce and an ever expanding set of encounters, world events and unlockables. A word of advice, click and build everywhere. There are no mistakes and slowly figuring out what builds where and how things grow is part of the game. It's about experimenting. So don't be afraid and go wild. Our people were wrecked during the War of the Tree. Dunkel, Castellus, Moorbridge, and even Port Remit. Nothing remained of our prosperous free houses after decades of attrition. We took what we had and left in order to resettle in peace away from the warlords and fiefdoms that remain. We will succeed, because on our backs the past was built, and from our hands the future will be wrought. Ah, you're finally here. We've already built a few essential buildings. I'll assist you in connecting things up and getting the settlement up and running. While you're on the ground, we will focus on a single building at a time. This will allow you to build outward in a variety of ways and upwards later on. First, Connect this outpost to the wood mill, which is located down in the shallow water beside the sea tree fungi. Without wood, we cannot build. Notice our workers are already building houses and industry along the walkway. Wherever you build and our workers can reach, they will settle. Let's now focus on the wood mill. This is your wood mill. It produces and transports wood across walkways. Let us build a basic wooden tower with a walkway towards it. You just built a basic tower. It is used to connect up your settlement and transport vital resources. Workers will also build homes and industry around it. Wood can only travel a limited number of walkways away from the wood mill, but this can be increased by encouraging workers to build along walkways connected to the wood mill. Good work. 
The wood mill is now delivering wood further than before, so we can move on. Across from the wood mill, we also built a stone quarry. Let's connect that to our settlement. This resource extractor is missing access to workers. This stone quarry works similarly to your wood mill. It produces stone that can travel a limited number of walkways. Great job. Now we have access to the quarry, our wooden towers can be upgraded to stone. Stone towers create stone walkways. If you rebuild a walkway adjacent to a stone tower in place of a current wooden one, it will be upgraded to stone. Outposts can be upgraded as well. Let's use the stone to upgrade the outpost to its second stage. We can add foundations to basic towers and outposts. These allow workers to build a higher class of housing on them, increasing the worker output. The worker output of our outpost can be improved further by connecting more towers and walkways to it. All towers allow for foundations, wood, stone, and later, command towers. Command towers also allow for battlements. Select your outpost, so we can start expanding it further.
we have done well. It is time we started being more ambitious. Take to the skies and seek out iron ore. Your surveyor allows you to build resource extractors, harbors, and outposts on other islands. It will also help to get you out of trouble, which is never far on the Ursi. The world map shows our holdings, which we can fast travel to. I will also mark any freelance captains that enter our waters, as well as suspicious locations. Your surveyor can build a mine on this spot. Workers will mine for ore, and the metallurgical industry will be built up around it. Iron will allow our most advanced towers and buildings. We now have access to iron, but it needs to be transported across the water. Let us build a trade route for ships that can transport iron and other resources back and forth. This resource extractor is missing access to workers. We now have iron but it's not making its way to our settlement. Build a pair of harbors with your surveyor to transport iron across the sea. Several captains are now available. Each captain hauls specific resources. For this trade route, iron is required, but wood is also recommended to expand the mine later. I will carry stone and workers only, nothing else. I will only carry iron and workers for our industries. The iron I transport is helping our settlement grow and prosper. Harbors always need to be built as pairs. As soon as you build two, a trade route will connect them. Captains will carry your resources over vast distances. This trade route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods back and forth. Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. 
With iron, we can start building defensive structures, such as imposing command towers. But before doing so, we need to upgrade our outpost into a proper citadel. With all major resources now at our disposal, let's focus on building command towers. These can be built with multiple floors as well as additional foundations and balconies. Mighty command towers have the potential to reach high into the sky. Their height can be increased by adding more foundations as well as having better access to workers. Build this tower as high as possible. Change the floor you are building from. Lower floors build foundations, while higher floors build balconies and sky bridges. Command tower foundations are strong battlements that support your tower. Foundations allow more floors to be built on the tower. Balconies are built from high floors. The more expansive your tower, the more powerful your commanders will become if they are assigned here. This command tower is looking stout. We already have an experienced warboat commander among our retinue. Let's assign them to this command tower. Mighty command towers have the potential to reach high into the sky. Their height can be increased by adding more foundations as well as having better access to workers. Build this tower as high as possible. Rest assured, friend, my warbirds are the strongest and fastest. My stable mixes Sarkanda and Northern Grey Life traits. Warbirds, the likes of which have not been seen for decades. This tower and its commander now stand watch over our settlement. Their forces will deploy joining our battle group when the surveyor is near the command tower. 
our settlement is established. We have access to resources, a citadel, and command towers. It's time to explore the surrounding area, finding more people that will help us thrive. These are desperate times, so we may need to accept unlikely neighbors. But be wary of who you invite in. If they bring their old allegiances, conflict is sure to follow. Now it's all up to you. Head out and explore the Earth. Rebuild our society as you so fit. Protect yourself and our citizens well. Good. Luck.